The number of wolves on Vancouver Island appears to be increasing, but experts say the animals are elusive and hard to track. The experts also disagree on whether wolves are depopulating deer in the wild, but they say it's highly unlikely wolves will follow deer into cities. Kristen Robinson has more. And another warning, this story contains some graphic images that some viewers may find disturbing. Right about here, this is where I've seen the wolf. I've seen the tail circling. And Amanda Cooper like shows the spot where she says she and her boyfriend saw a multicolored wolf stalking horses Saturday as they drove along Dupe Road. All I seen was it trying to climb in right about in here, clawing at the fence, trying to get at, at the horses here, and it was pretty scary, and I want to walk this road every day. The wolf took off into the bush as they passed, just one of approximately 200 that live on Vancouver Island. But wolf attacks are extremely rare. Conservation officers can only recall one in BC history, a UVic student who was bitten on the head 12 years ago. And he jumped on my back and that's when he started biting away at the top of my head. Scott Longevin received more than 50 stitches after being attacked in his sleeping bag on Vargas Island by a wolf other campers had been feeding. Conservation officers shot it and another wolf. Wolves uh, tend to focus first and foremost on wildlife and when uh, that is uh, depleted, severely depleted, they then change towards uh, livestock and pets. In other words, they get close to humans. Five years ago, a Port Alberni dairy farmer shot a wolf he says charged at him and his dog. And a wolf who killed and maimed more than 30 sheep on Saturna Island more than a decade ago was also shot. More commonly, elk and deer are wolf prey. The deer um, are um, very hard hit by wolf predation. I'm not so sure about deer depopulating in the wilderness because that's not my experience, that's okay. not what I'm seeing. While it's clear deer are moving into urban centers, conservation officers say predators like wolves won't likely follow the deer into town. With wolves on Vancouver Island, there's, there's still available habitat and there's still available prey for the most part that they haven't been forced to move down here. Wolves are a pack animal and it would be much more difficult for them to, uh, to move in as a group to, uh, to a busy area without being noticed. It was big and huge and scary. <laughs> Fortunately for Cooper, wolves are elusive, so even though the population is on the rise, she likely won't have another encounter.